Everyone in the band is really proud. This is our our life's work is being honored by our hometown. It's the kind of thing you you literally dream about. My name is Kate Borders. I'm with the Downtown Tempe Authority. And uh, we are very honored to have the Jim Blossoms with us here today. They got their start in the 80s in Tempe. And, you know, we hear that they're always out there as these amazing ambassadors for Tempe, talking about our community and how much they love it. So today we're recognizing them as the second edition to the Tempe Music Walk. And right now I'm going to bring on Joel Navarro, our council member, who got this whole thing kind of started to talk about the Gem Blossoms. Sweet Joe. Thank you. Um, just, you know, a real, real, real brief background. Uh, I have to give kudos to Ted Allen, who's back here. Uh, me and Ted were talking one day over some coffee. How do we get this live music thing back here in Tempe? It really never went away, but how we would really encourage this thing to start coming back up again. And the biggest thing was really to get the bar owners and restaurants really involved in, in opening up the doors for more live music. We've been doing concerts in uh, the month of November, free to the public. We've been having great sponsorships coming in here, just really um, giving up you know, the money and, and, and really embracing the live music scene. And to be honest with you, it's really starting to take off, and we're getting a lot of encouragement, um, not only just by the bar owners, but, man, I, I have people emailing me from a variety of different areas of the country just saying, hey, when's the next uh, series going to be? We'd love to be part of it. So this is really, try this is really taking off. And, and, and today is our second edition of, of the plaque uh, here on 4th and Mill. Um, the first one was for Walt Richardson, and today we have the opportunity to have the Jim Blossoms. Give it up for Walt. Very fitting for Walt. He was the man that's really, really kind of, you know, Tempe. And, and what another uh, 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 band that has really come out of the Tempe area back in the 80s and 90s and really put um, Tempe on the map also. And that is the Gin Blossoms. And we're so proud to have them here. And we're so proud to have them playing this New Year's Eve. So tomorrow night we get to listen to them, which is going to be awesome. Uh, so, uh, you know, as, as we start doing this plaque dedication, we really want to, like I said, encourage the live music in the downtown Tempe area, and we're really going to kick this off again to another beautiful plaque. Um, the Jim Blossoms, we've all heard their, their songs, um, Jealousy, Mrs. Rita. I mean, these are songs that have really embraced the Tempe atmosphere, and we're just so proud once again to have them here. So before I uh, turn it over to the mayor, I want to tell everyone thank you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the opportunities that we're doing here in, in, in the downtown Tempe area. This is very exciting. This is a great another kickoff to our live music scene. And I want to bring up our Mayor, uh, mayor Mitchell, and he's going to read a proclamation for the Gin Blossoms. Well, thank you, Joel. And this, this is a great day in Tempe. Not only is it because of the beautiful weather we have, but we're honoring one of Tempe's own, uh, the Gin Blossoms. And as Joel mentioned, we were fortunate enough uh, to have and honor Walt Richardson with the first plaque regarding the Tempe Music Walk right here you see on Mill Avenue. We're, today we're going to be honoring our second plaque, uh, which is the Jim Blossoms. And, and on a personal note, it's really special not only to be the mayor of Tempe, to grow up in this community, but to grow up with individuals like Robin Wilson and Lance Wilson, who I grew up with, played Parks and Rec baseball for the city years ago. And I'm talking years, right, Robin? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And, and it, it is, it's, it's really kind of really awesome. And to see Robin's uh, family here, his mom and dad are here, his brother Lance, as I mentioned, and the rest of the Jim Blossoms, you really put Tempe on the map uh, with all the other music scenes that we had in our community. From Walt to the Jim Blossoms to Roger to the Chadwicks, you name it, there's so many other bands. And you guys are a big part of what we have today. And because of what you guys started so many years ago, um, we're able to really carry on that tradition for future generations. And, and I played your albums for my daughters the other day just to say who you guys were and everything. And it's, it's totally amazing to say that I could, I could be able to do something like that. And it's really personal, so it makes it that much more special to say, hey, I grew up, I know this guy, I grew up with him. Um, but honestly, this is a great day in Tempe, Arizona. As Joel mentioned, one of the other great responsibilities of being the mayor is you get to declare a proclamation. <laughs> Not with that sound, but you do get to declare a proclamation. So I'll wait for that to pass. That's Roger Klein. That's Roger Klein. That's great. I'm sure Roger would appreciate that. There it is. All righty. You know, we accept all types of music, right? Okay. 
Well, whereas the mayor and the city council and the city of Tempe believe that music is an integral part of Tempe and the Tempe's culture and history, and whereas the city of Tempe, the downtown Tempe Authority, and the Tempe Music Revival wish to honor our most esteemed musicians with plaques on Mill Avenue as part of the Tempe Music Walk, and whereas the Jim Blossoms got their start in Tempe playing on Mill Avenue and are extraordinary ambassadors for our community while performing around the world, and whereas the Jim Blossoms are truly an iconic Tempe band whose songs feature Tempe locations as well as people, so much so that this is the second time we will proclaim a day for the band. And whereas the Jim Blossoms will headline the Circle K New Year's Eve block party at Mill Avenue tomorrow night, right here back in the original uh, Hayden Amphitheater, and whereas the Jim Blossoms will receive a plaque on the Tempe Music Walk today honoring their more than two decades of amazing music. And now, therefore, I, Mark Mitchell, the mayor of the great city of Tempe, Arizona, do hereby declare the Jim Blossoms, their music, as December 30, 2014, Jim Blossoms Day in Tempe, Arizona. I would like to dedicate this to Douglas Hopkins and Philip Rhodes, and I wish they were here with us. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, hello and thank you everyone. We're very proud to be here. We've always uh, been very proud to be from Tempe and um, to have your life's work uh, honored by your hometown is a very prideful accomplishment. And again, I'd like to mention uh, Doug Hopkins and Philip Rhodes. I, I wish there was a way that, uh, you know, the original band could have somehow survived. I like to imagine there's multiple universes out there and maybe in one of those or several thousand of them there's a version of the Jim Blossoms where uh, Doug and Phil are still in the group and uh, to them if they're out there somewhere I, I salute them and uh, to my bandmates Jesse, Bill, Scott and Scott love you guys and uh, hopefully we can keep doing this for a while thank you